Against the four and four Eagles, Dallas added Amari Cooper, but they still lost convincingly to the Titans last week. Ezekiel Elliott expressed the urgency of a win yesterday, saying Sunday this is, quote, 100% a must win. Shannon, hmm? what's your prediction? I got the Eagles. Um, I like the Eagles, especially out the bye, but don't underestimate the Cowboys. They're a wounded team. They're a dangerous team. Yeah. Um, yeah, Skip. Dangerous? But, after yeah. all you've said negatively, yeah. now they're dangerous? But this is a division game. Uh. There's no love lost between these two teams. Hold on. It's not like they can look at it like, well, we beat the Titans and the Titans beat the, beat, uh, the Cowboys. The Titans beat both of them. Philly had a 17-point lead, and the Titans came back and beat them. Mm -hmm. Now, they just stomped the Cowboys out. Mm -hmm. But the Cowboys... That game was at Tennessee, by the yes, way. Yes. The Cowboys will play with a sense of urgency. Um, they well, know they sure didn't on Monday night. They didn't. They yeah. didn't. They under <laughs> See, I think the thing is that because they were at home, they're playing the Tennessee Titans, who are challenged offensively. Thirtieth in the league. They underestimated them. Oh. They know what Walker Tua represents. Yeah. yeah, six games, thirteen touchdowns, two interceptions. Mm. That's three, two, three more touchdowns. And, and what? Four fewer interceptions than somebody else we know. But we're not talking yeah. about him. I let you. Carson talk Wentz, him. Hall of Famer. He, he's already in. And guess what I like. Get to unveil that new toy. Mm -hmm. They get to take old Golden, Golden. Tate. Woo mm -hmm. So you know what happened last time? He played the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. He went for over buck. I think what a buck thirty. Mm -hmm. So he'll be. Oh, he loved. Oh, him. he lit him up at Jerry World. Yep. They, they barely over. It took Dak to Zeke to overcome him. Yep. And go yep. light him up again. And so now you pair him with Alshon and Zach Ertz and Goddard. <sighs> Skip, I'm sorry. Mm. My turn. Yep. Mm -hmm. This game will get ugly quickly. You tell know what? This game will be Philly 34, what's left of Dallas 10. 34 to 10. Don't Eagles. Bad, fly, Eagles, fly. Now stop. Bye, Dallas, bye. That's no. what's about to happen. Good bye. It's going to be closer than that. And by the way, the Eagles are coming off a bye. That's another advantage to Philadelphia. Shannon Sharp, what did I tell you on Tuesday morning after that debacle on Monday night? I told you that in all my years of rooting for the Dallas Cowboys, that I had never been more deflated, more disillusioned, more disgusted by an outcome than Monday nights. Under the circumstances, they were coming off a bye. They had added Amari Cooper. They had Tennessee on the ropes. It could have been 21 to nothing Dallas, and they would have rocket launched to go win the NFC East. And, oh, that's my video. We're playing my video. You uh -huh. like that? I did that, yeah. Yeah, you kept the I white. I kept the white one. <laughs> but guess what? You I also that kept trash my, my kind of tan cap with the cowboy logo. What about that old jumpsuit? Mm -hmm. You know you got a cowboy. What about that sweatsuit? I what about that sweatsuit? I don't you have, have one. Yeah, you do. That's all I got. I got and a T-shirt. white. No, and a T-shirt. I got a T-shirt. I yeah, do. exactly. With a star on yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It's the greatest symbol in the way history too. of sports. And speaking of that star. The turning point of the season, the stomach turning point of the season came when Dak Prescott made the single worst decision of his NFL career. And he said, I think I'll throw it to Amari Cooper, who's double covered and has no hope of catching a pass because I threw it to him like he was seven feet tall. And Kevin Byard <laughs> put it in his hip pocket. And what did he do, Mr. Sharp? He ran all the way to midfield and he stood on the star like Terrell Owens when he was a 49er and celebrated. Stars attract stars. He rubbed it, rubbed their noses it. right in it. And that was a turning point because Dallas did not respond to that. What were they supposed to And do? as D'Angelo Hall said the other day, that he's convinced that Kevin Byard ran straight to the sidelines and yelled to everybody, That's soft, because they were soft on that night. I don't think they're a soft football team, but they were on that night. What did I also tell you? What? I couldn't figure out which was worse, Dak Prescott or the number one ranked Dallas defense, which had allowed the fewest points scored in the NFL going into the game. And Marcus Mariota, who's not very good, went 11 for 14 on third down. Are you kidding well, me? Well, he's done something Dak's never done. 11 for 14? Marcus Mariota is not very good, but guess what he's done, Alex? Mm -hmm. Won a playoff game mm. on the road. Okay. I give you that. Down 21-3. Okay. Well, he effectively won a playoff game on Monday night at Dallas because that just sunk my Cowboys. That that was huge. That was a, a display by Mariota of guts. And, and Dak must have been played. Dak played. Oh, he played? Yeah. Well, he, by the way, the, the only bright spot was Amari Cooper did play, and 
flashed occasionally and looked pretty good. He caught five balls from 58 Little yards. Little flash had a better quarterback. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, you got me on that one. I said, mm-hmm. although Dak was 21 and 31 for 243, which is not all bad. Two touchdowns and interception. Not terrible. Not a terrible night, except for those two decisions, being careless with the football in the third quarter and fumbling if it you away. you don't mind me asking, Skip, mm-hmm. uh, how, much, how many of those yards came on that final drive that when they didn't get the ball? When the game was already settled. Mm. There's only four minutes left in the ball game. The game was already settled. All I know is they, they play four quarters, so I don't know. Uh, I'll take 243. You always say he can't even throw for 200, so he threw for 243. Let me ask you a question. What is he averaging? It just doesn't matter. I told you they're going to lose 34 to 10. Why are you trying to, like, you're, you're trying to beat on me when I'm just saying I give I, up? Because everybody knows right? what you're trying to do. Nobody's trying to do anything. Yes, I'm telling are. you, that, that moment, that Kevin Byard moment, was the psychological turning point for a team that is now dead in the water. Well, maybe Dak should have been I like Aaron Rodgers got- and threw it away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you, see you know what? On that when you play, for, when you for Alex, you see what happens when you force passes. Cause, cause you that should was throw away second and goal. But you know, the other thing that should have happened was when the new receiver, the new number one receiver, who can really fly, when he's double covered, that means somebody's not covered. That's whoa, the whoa. problem. Well, no, he thought he could fit it in there. Mm-hmm. Remember, that's what you told you want Aaron Rodgers to do. Mm-hmm. Instead of throwing the ball away, Alex, he wanted him to fit him fit it in there. Yeah. So he thought he could. It is in there. Why are we talking about a quarterback who's three, four, and one? <laughs> three, four, and one? Who? Aaron Rodgers. I don't. What's Why that, are we talking about a quarterback that, who's five and six in the playoffs? What's that record? The Super Bowl. What's that record? Three and five oh. on, on the way to three and ten. Okay, what's his so, playoff record? I don't care. We're talking about Philly and Dallas. Okay, that's just that's Philly's perfect. flying high. You know what? I agree with you about Golden Tate because. He is just what the doctor ordered yep. for that football team because he's got some of that Philly blue-collar toughness, yep. spit-in-your-eye guy, you know, yep. a guy who take nothing off nobody. Right. You know, I like him for them. That's a good move. Do I think he's better than Amari Cooper? I do not. Well, if I'm the Cowboys, I go out there and then I get me an interception or touchdown, I run to the middle of the field and scratch out the Eagles' eye. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yep. and, and who's going to do that? I don't know. The Cowboys, oh. that's your team. Who's going to do it? You tell me. You follow them closely. Who, who that guy that'll do something like that? I just told you they're psychologically dead in the water. Not when you got I don't think they will on. show up. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Your captain can't let mm-hmm. that happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know who wears the captaincy mm-hmm. on the offense, but you can't allow that to happen. Mm-hmm. You can't let a bad outing mm-hmm. define you. Mm-hmm. So if he's that guy, now you've been telling me, Skip, for three years, he's that guy. Now, all of a sudden, mm-hmm. I bet he's psychologically damaged. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. whole team is. That no, was the whole team. Ain't they know team. that was make or break. No, it wasn't. That was must win. This is will lose. From I here know what on, trying to do. They they look down the schedule. They're not stupid. They say at Philly, at Atlanta, Washington, New Orleans, and then Philly again. Birds of prey. <laughs> Served them up. Yep. Yep. You got to feed birds of prey. They eat meat. Yep. Yep. Fly eagles fly. You ever seen the eagle eat flies? Mm-hmm. No, they eat meat. Cowboys coming. Yep. They're going to eat a bunch of flies. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, no, you know, Eagles they, don't eat flies. Well, they will. No, they won't. Well, this is just eat a them little hors d'oeuvre. Eat them cowboys. Mm-hmm. Look at look at that. I mm-hmm. mean, both of them got captain C's. One of them you'd love to have. Yeah. The other one I'm not so sure, Skip. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that deer in headlights, Carson Wentz. Wait, Skip, what, W-I-N-C-E. Wentz. On. What about your guy on Monday night? Yeah. What about your guy on Monday night, Skip? Yeah. You know what? Carson Wentz won't have to be good this time. They'll just roll. Everything will be right. No, they got they no work. running game. They're relying mm-hmm. solely on Carson. Really? Yeah, walking to him. Mm-hmm. Who they running game? LeGarrette Blunt's in Detroit. Mm-hmm. J- uh, uh, Ajayi is injured. Yep. Darren Sproles was been out since week one, supposed to supposed to come back. And guess what happened, Skip? First day of practice, tweaks his hamstring, hamstring, he out again. Mm-hmm. So now what? Smallwood? Yeah, small. I like Smallwood. He runs hard. Runs big for Smallwood. Smallwood and Clement. That's what they got. Uh-huh. How that been working out for him? So uh-huh. walking to him will do what he does. Golden Tate, uh, Alshon, Ertz, Goddard. So, I think it'll be How, how much would Dallas like to have Dallas? Well, Goddard. you should have got it. Ooh, we should have had him. It's going to be 30 to 24 Eagles. 30 to Ooh. 24? You're, you just gave Dak Prescott 24 wow. points? 34 That's 10. Hall of Fame stuff. 30 to 24. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a By big the difference. way, I, I got a 24 point margin, so I'll, I'll take Dallas and 23. I'd do that. I for a case. Would. No. Nope. Nope. You getting a case to do? Come on. You got the Eagles. You got Golden no. Tate. This, this, this you all, are golden. This is also a division game. This is also oh. a rivalry game. It used to be. It still is. <laughs> yeah. They're still in the same division. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it'll be a fun one. But the mm. tables are turned now. 23? Ooh. Nope.
You got how much you win? So you got Dougie P, this the most fearless coach in football. Yeah, right. What is biography called? Hey, hey, y'all, fearless. Hey, y'all got Jason Garrett. Mm. Well, that, thank you. You're making my case. He's you want to talk about lame duck? Oh, see Jerry. Oh, see Jerry. Do what I love to see. I love when they show that press broadcast. I see old Jerry do this right here. Yeah. Well, I love to see that like that. <laughs> <laughs> you do that right there. Yeah, we got. It. I, I see we you got- do that every break. <laughs> All right, we are switching gears, guys. Did the Warriors get exposed last night? We'll discuss that next with Jason Terry. And in our audience today, we have some members of our armed forces. We're celebrating Veterans Day all day here on FS1. And we thank them for their service.